Hello friends, today I am going to explain you about how to start a project in Django. So uh, first of all for Django you need to have a Python 3 installed in your system. So this is the tutorial on Linux. First of all open the terminal on the desktop. We have to check whether Python 3.7 is installed on, our, on your system or not. So for that I will check what is the version of the python so yeah it's 2.7 python 3 check python 3 space iphone capital v this shows the current python 3 version it is 3.6.9 which is the latest version so I will tell you how to install the python first of all write the command sudo apt get update first of all update ok sudo sorry is asking for the password enter your password yeah it's updated so now you have to write the command sudo apt iphone get install python 3.7 which is the latest version so now it is installing yeah it, it is saying that already i have the python version so known is already python 3.7 is already the newest version so after uh, once check that is it installed correctly or not by typing python 3 space fun iphone vrsion version Okay, yeah it's python 3.6.9 which is the latest version so after this we have to uh, install pip or pip for python 3 for that uh, you have to enter sudo apt install python 3 iphon pip we are installing the pip yes type yes pip has been installed successfully once we will check uh, is it installed without any errors ok we can check uh, by typing pip3 iphone iphone version so it shows the pip current pips version so it is 9.0.1 which, which is the latest one so we have done with installing python3 and also pip now we have to in, uh, install our virtual environment so for that we have to write the command virtual env space iphone p python 3 v space venv yeah you can see uh, a new folder is created in the folder with the name venv so now to activate the virtual environment you have to type source space venv slash bin slash activate you can see the venv over here which shows that our virtual environment is activated so there are different commands in uh, windows 10 also so i later on i will be making a video on uh, windows 10 so don't worry so now you have to install the django the latest version of the django is 2.2 so you for that you have to write the command pip install django equal to equal to 2.2 which is the latest version for till date yeah the django has been installed so Django has some specific commands so to check those you have to write you have to type Django admin space help see you can see these are the commands which we will be using frequently uh, so you can make a note of this now to start a project we have to run one command the command says that Django iphone admin start project start 
project and the project name new project in this case project you can see a new folder has been created with the name new project so now I will go inside it cd new underscore project yeah now I'm inside the folder I prefer you guys to install vs code it is a good software it does not hang coming back to this thing I am going to open the virtual studio so this is the code this we have generated uh, manage.py this is the main um, main file from where we will run all the commands there is a urls page where we can link uh, one page to another there is a settings file and uh, yeah this is the file structure of the django project so now to run the project we have to write the command python manage dot pi space run server the server is running and uh, ignore this error i will tell you what that error mean open the link so it shows that the install worked successfully congratulations the django is installed correctly so finally we have created our first django project in the linux system in the coming video i am going to explain you how to make a user to log in and log out through your website and also i will explain how to make your user to log in through google or facebook sign in that is also one of the method thank you please like the video if you like and subscribe